Good morning, guys. Coming to you from beautiful Salt Lake City today with Austin Davis. Just call him Brady Davis. He said he was getting it all his life. Um, interviewing some amazing, amazing people today. But I'm here, I'm going to talk today about something very, very important. And I know some people out there need to hear this. I'm glad that Austin is here because we're going to talk about porn, alcohol, gym all of that in this video <laughs> and <laughs> look see that he needs to hear about porn and alcohol addictions but i guarantee you <clears throat> someone out there needs to hear this and i'm not gonna hold nothing back so first thing first we're here at a hotel with a whole bunch of secret services dogs sniffing us uh i think sooner or later they're gonna call me in because we have Last week, Cleveland class, and literally in a Cleveland class, two miles from us, debates were taking place. Now we're in Salt Lake City, and debates are taking place 2.6 miles from us. And I'm literally staying where all the agents and everybody's staying. I'm like, I know they're chasing people who are chasing them. So. Well, you've got to be on the registry, you're Russian. <laughs> and plus, I'm Russian. Uh, you're welcome for the last election. See what's going to happen this time. Anyway, here, here's the thing, guys. I know porn, I know alcohol, and I know money makes you very happy. That's why you're doing it. And there's nothing wrong with it. It gives you freaking happiness, right? But what if I tell you there's way better way? So here's Dmitry a couple of years ago. I, I travel a lot. Usually you travel, you know, your wife is not around, you're, uh, you're free to do anything, you have money, you have friends. You go out for the drinks. Next thing you know, you're drinking all night and in the morning you can't wake up to go to the gym. And it's like a circle. I know a lot of, I know guys, I remember I was doing a class. I attended the class and there was a person who paid for the class $600, flew to Minneapolis. It was a drone class to get certified for the drone. And during the class, he didn't show up because he flew the night before I went up for drinking until four o'clock, he paid for the class and he had to reschedule, come back three months later. So the thing about it is, we've all done it. Why do we do it? Because those things makes us happy for the moment. But I wanna show you better alternative. Here's my life today. I don't like, last night we went drinking, drinking, eating. We ate a lot of food. We actually, eating can be as bad as drinking. We went to Brazilian steakhouse and just, I don't know. Ate too much. Way too much. I barely could move this morning in the gym. But we have a couple sober guys. Nobody was drinking. I think two guys drank a little bit of beer. I went to bed at 10 o'clock. This morning, I woke up five in the morning, six o'clock. I'm in a CrossFit gym. You know what? I'm as happy as I ever have been. It's more fun than drinking all night. Like I'm telling you this, if you replace your alcohol with more with the fitness, I don't care what it is, you will get addicted as well. So you can't do both. You cannot serve alcohol and fitness at the same time. You're gonna be either one or another. And I don't care how old are you. I don't care what genes you have. I mean, I'm the fittest guy in my circles, and still drinking were affecting me. And if you have addictive personality like myself, if you have no limits, if it's one or 100, there's no nothing in between, then don't do it at all. That's one thing. Let's talk about porn. I see a lot of guys out there. I know porn is easier, like way easier than building a relationship with your wife, with your girlfriend, whatever, and probably makes you happy for the moment. I mean, I think porn hop, last time I checked it was, uh, if you look at the stats, they actually say that the reason internet is developing so much because of the porn sites, websites, uh, investing so much money so people can watch porn on their devices and stuff and we have a high-speed internet. It's not YouTube or Google, it's actually porn sites. If you look um, the traffic to those websites, I think porn uh, sites are, you know, most of them are at top 100 websites in the world. So obviously everybody's watching, everybody's, you know, jerking off and stuff like that. But the problem is it's easier to be in a relationship on your phone. And guys, I see a lot of guys in my circles, they don't know how to talk to girls anymore. They don't know how to build a relationship. They don't know how to go on a date. You wanna replace that happiness with a better happiness? 
I'll give you a better happiness. Fell in love with someone, meeting a person who will motivate you, that girlfriend who will push you to wake up in the morning and go lose some fat. That's freaking awesome. Building a family, building a relationship, raising kids together. It's way better alternative than just watching porn and uh, doing stuff on your phone 24 seven. Try to learn that. And last one, it's let's talk about money. I'm telling you right now, money is not gonna bring you happiness. And I know it's a cliche and stuff, but here's how you can replace money, like that possession when you just wanna buy a new car. I see a lot of guys out there just chasing it. You know, here's the thing. Your car, I, I've heard this message from a preacher last Sunday, and he was talking about how, you know, buying an expensive car is not gonna get you those emotions like, oh, like you're not gonna wipe over it. You know, you buy a car, okay, you drive. I mean, I'm telling you right now, I drive $100,000 car. Do you think it makes me happy? Maybe for the first two weeks. You know, the thing is, those things there, you know, you get them and it's never enough. Here's what you can do with your money. Try to volunteer your time and your money to something. Like, instead of buying something for yourself, just give it. And that's a true happiness. So you will be happier given than receiving it. If you've never tried it, because I understand they don't teach it at school, your parents maybe never told you to do that, that's more um, fulfilling than just getting for yourself. Here's the thing, guys. You know, I do roofing insights. I do a lot of stuff. You see, like, we do, we monetize what we do. But every week I talk to someone for free. I'll have, like, 20-year-old texting me saying, Dimitri, you know, I want to start a business and I'll jump on a call with him for 30 minutes. Nobody knows it. Nobody knows what I'm doing, you know, on my free time, those free un, uh, consulting deals. I know I'll never get paid, but that's, that is so fulfilling. I'll share the story with you. 10 years ago, I bought a car. It was Honda Odyssey. And then I bought another car. So I bought one car because it was a good deal. It has like 150,000 miles, but those Odysseys, they literally will drive for like three, four hundred thousand, and I, I've seen a family in my church ten years ago. Uh, wife had a issues with her legs. I don't know what was wrong with her. Both husband and wife was working, and they have this Nissan, like really, really old car. They have three kids. They were in the ministry, and they have like just a shitty car. I guarantee you that car would not make in another month. Two hundred fifty thousand miles. When I saw it, I mean the car was falling apart. And what happened to me is I, I have a minivan for the family and I bought this minivan kind of for business to save uh, money. So I have a truck, family minivan, and I have extra minivan. Perfect running condition. Cost me like 3,500 bucks. I think I bought it at an auction. And you know what? I just asked myself, I realized that I'm not even driving that car and I've seen this family of five. At that time, I only had two kids. So they had more kids than me and they, they couldn't afford the car. So I came to them after the service one time and I gave them a key, I said, this car is yours, it's way better than when you drive. To this day, that thing, like, I mean, I drive $100,000 car and it did not bring me the happiness as giving away $3,000 vehicle to someone that you know will need it. They drove it for years. <laughs> the Honda Odyssey, 10 years later, still probably on the road somewhere. The point is, try to do that. And I never share that. Like, I don't like sharing, even the Rooster teachers, we don't share. I told all my guys, don't share, don't brag about what you give. The point is, stop chasing money, stop watching porn, stop drinking, you know, every single night. Go to the gym, replace fitness with, fit alcohol with the fitness. It's better happiness. Replace real... Um, porn with a real relationship and start giving instead of just always trying to possess and see what's gonna happen to your life replace happiness with with happiness if you know that what you're getting right now is just temporary and it's not very important or kind of like you don't like it I mean we don't, nobody likes drinking too much we, we don't like it I've never seen a person like when we we're kids when we we're teenagers you drink beer you're like man tastes like garbage. I hate it. <laughs> Hard liquor, vodka. Have you ever met a person in your life who likes drinking vodka for taste? <laughs> I mean, we hate that stuff, but it brings you happiness afterwards and it's it's bad happiness. Replace it with a better happiness. I'm telling you right now, go around three miles in the morning. 
you're gonna be fitter and happiness also comes after. So the difference between my happiness that I'm offering you is after you've done that initial you know, act, whatever you do with the porn, alcohol, or money, it's what comes after. Real happiness does not have bad aftertaste. It does not. And fake uh, happiness always have bad circumstances, Porn will ruin relationship with your wife, with your girlfriends, with your kids maybe. Alcohol will ruin everything around you, period. And if you don't have good relationship with money, it also gonna have really bad circumstances down the road. So real happiness does not have bad aftertaste. That's my message for you for today. Austin gonna teach me how to install metal roof today. I know a lot of you suckers think that I cannot work with my hands. I'm gonna prove to you today that I actually can get on the roof and Let's install see. some. We'll see. <laughs> so I'm installing metal roof today, teal core, here in beautiful Salt Lake City. And um, yeah, guys, this is my message for you today. Replace your fake happiness with a real happiness. Enjoy your day. Um, if you guys have not seen the recent post, everybody who will buy tickets, VIP tickets, the roofing process conference will get $150 Kotka knife with the roofing insights on it. I got a text message from my Kotka rep and he's like, Mitri, you know, I want to come to your conference. I'm like, sure, give me some knives. <laughs> he's like, all right, we have a deal. So my Kotka rep comes to the conference, you'll meet him, but he's donating some knives. Uh, it's not applicable to any previous purchases, but if anyone out there will get uh, <clears throat> VIP tickets to the conference this week and Sunday at uh, 10th and uh, You know at midnight wherever so buy tickets We still have room uh, for VIPs after this week or next week. We probably will be sell out on the VIP end and uh, That's about it. Stay safe guys <laughs>